for the second half. Welcome back. I'm currently opening a bottle Squeak. of Canadian Club whiskey chocolate. You're wondering what I'm about to put in my mouth. <laughs> I always oh. wonder that. <laughs> oh. He's joking there. But he's too small to make it because he's a mouse. Uh, <laughs> so speaking of, I, I feel like Koya would be preparing to cast all these spells. But in the meantime, it's it's mouse ma goats, mouse o mouse goats, mouse goats, mouse goats, mouse sin, and yeah. Amadea is just like hanging out together. I think that ma goats and sin can talk to each other in dire rat form. So like, <laughs> remember you only have an intelligence score of two, but you can talk to each other. So what do you say? Like what? How does that conversation go back in camp while you're, like, well, hiding in Amadeus' saddlebag? Hey, bro, saddle you got any cheese? Hey, bro, yeah. you see any cheese anywhere, bro? So, hey, int bro. 3 is where animals are, like, capable of language mm -hmm. and higher-level thinking. And int 2 is where you can be trained. So, if there's somebody with handle animal, we could literally be trained by them while we're in rat form. It takes, like, a week, but yeah. I could, uh, well, not the V. I think I've still got that power. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, my just went gone. Darth Vader on It's us. gone. No. Poor Dave. Sigh. Oh, oh, that was better. That was visible. Or I gotta awful. tell you, this is not some, this is not bad. Actually, some yeah. good alcohol. Yeah, I think barring that, like Adam said, I mean, it's a... I would assume everyone else that knows that we're not supposed to be dire rats is probably desperately trying to corral us into the sandwich wagon <laughs> and, uh, and keep oh, us yeah. there. I would like a BLT. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure BLTs would be fantastic. <laughs> Can rats beg? Is there is there rat begging? I mean, I know there is because I, I know feel like Koya would be like taking a BLT sandwich and just like spreading it around and like crumbling. Can we Bro do the little cheese? mousy hand washing thing and like? Yeah. I do not have wild empathy. Okay. I don't know what what to call this episode. I, of mice and men doesn't sound good enough. If you guys can think right? of a good pun. Of mice know. and outsiders. Um. Mm. Uh. Uh. What's the uh? Rocking in the new year. Uh, nice. Between a, uh, I'll think about it. I'm not the morph, the merrier. Ooh, that's a Ooh. good one. The morph, that the merrier. Good. That's the new name. <laughs> so bad. That's awesome. <clears throat> all right, all right. Um, I think uh, uh, the Empress sits down with Leta. Uh, privately, and just like gestures for you to join her in a, in like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I can do that. And in T and E's, and actually probably just straight men, Kyan. She's like, Leta, I understand that you have joined us to help free the spirits tower and investigate are, the only presence. Are T and E's and Ming Kyan two different languages? They are. Then I don't speak Ming Kyan. Okay, she switches to T and E's. Okay. You live in Minkai, though, right? Uh, I live on the north border. Oh, so, so you would actually live in Hongol, so... No, Maybe? I live on... Sorry, I live just south of the Forest of Spirits. Oh, well, yeah. It's weird that you don't speak your... Na you would speak your national language, because everybody else Okay, because I yeah. didn't know which would count as common. Uh... So, Minkayan it is. Yeah, so she goes back to speaking Minkayan to you. She just switches three times in five seconds. Because who doesn't do that? Yeah. Uh, what What is your purpose journeying with us here? I understand you are enemies of the Oni. We are. We are. My god is an enemy of the Oni. My god led me to you. I'm curious to know more about your goals after we have cleared out the Oni from Minkai. I expect I will return to the wilderness and my previous life. I see. So you have no no wishes for the country of Minkai then, despite being a resident. I was hoping I... to speak with 
a common man of Minkai on these issues, as I have for many, many months been discussing what to do once I rule Minkai, but I have had no one from the country to actually speak with. My only knowledge of issues of Minkai are all an outsider's view. The only great part land and I would see that ended. Damn it. We just lost you. But we were right at the good part of the conversation. So, you oppose the Oni, but... What if we were to make certain changes to the government? For instance, you may be old enough to remember when more of the Yakuza clans ruled. When their protection was extended across the land, I may need to make certain deals with them in order to continue that protection. Is that something you would look well upon? I know surely that working with criminals can never be good, but restoring the traditional balance of the country, is that something you'd want to see? You can understand why I might want a common person's perspective on this. Hmm, I... I know nothing of the old ways, he says, checking his knowledge skills. Um, <laughs> I... I believe from the stories that I have heard that the Yakuza were at least uh, predictable. Is that what you would want out of a government? Predictability, then? I would want to see the wilderness preserved, the rural people given the right to live as they wish. I suppose the people in the cities deserve that as well. I suppose those city folk deserve it. Dot, 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 even if they are foolish. <laughs> foolish city dwellers. Who do you think you are? Well, I hope to speak with you further as we continue to progress along the country. And I'll be relying on your knowledge of the landscape and perhaps your tracking abilities to keep us on the right path. I have track. Good. Okay. All right. In the morning, Koya wakes up and then chain cast dispel magic until my goats and sin are free. So, um... Oh, okay, yep, I'm not muted, good. Uh, I, I'm going to paw up at Koya and ask her to do me first. Do me, do me. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, she'll do you first. Yeah, you're free. I won't have to roll it, because she can prepare it like nine yep. or ten times, so it's definitely going to succeed eventually. Oh, you're not even going to roll it? Nope. Okay, cool. Just going to happen. All right, that works. Do I also unsqueak? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yay, unsqueaked. Wow. That so, was, uh... beats of nude prevention, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beats of nude prevention. <laughs> I think we need a couple of those apiece. Yeah. Which is especially, especially at the ludicrously low price of like 500 gold at this point. Yeah, yeah. I... Um, so, strength drain. Strength mm. damage. Can it be prevented I... other than just doing a restoration afterwards? I can cast lesser restoration. You get one but back I mean, overnight too. In in combat, crit dead for me. I mean, can it be prevented? Uh, so what if is, you guys that actually have spellcraft? I was gonna know. say that's probably a question for my goats. Oh, what's the question? Sorry. Can strength damage be prevented? I know, um, like, uh. What is it? Negative energy? There's no... I'll, I'll tell you, there's no spell that currently blocks that or any ability. Ring of Inner Fortitude. What the shit? <laughs> okay, now I gotta go look it up. 
Uh, how much does it cost? Like well, I mean, I want to point out I was correct. No spell or ability currently prevents it. You yeah. are. It reduces correct. ability damage. Let's look up this horse. Yeah, it doesn't make you immune. Oh, it's only that's ultimate equipment. Reduces the penalties by two and ability drain by one. Mm. It's not bad. So if it only hits you for one, you take none. I mean, let's be real. We're gonna drop the forty two G's for the uh for the big one here. Yeah, but that's one. <laughs> <laughs> we need four. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's pretty nice. That yep. is nice. Uh, yeah, so that's a pipe dream anyway, because we're not going to spend 18 yeah. days making one. No. Or nine days no. making one. So tuck okay. it in your back pocket and save it for later. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, what other preparations can we make for what we have seen so far? Um, I think... Th I'm, I'm trying to remember how delay poison works. Is there a mass one that you cast on multiple people in advance? Not at a third level. Delay poison. <laughs> no. There is communal oh. delay poison at third level. Cleric mm -hmm. three? Mm -hmm. um, maybe I don't have... Well, me... well, I either have to drop daylight or magic circle against evil. Which... Unless we burn, unless we create scrolls of it, I guess. Because that we're going to cast out of combat, so a scroll would work. Yeah, I mean... You could just uh, ask Koya to cast it on you before you go inside. It's true. Yeah, I guess I'd... Why would you want to use the NPCs for anything, though? That's I, well, I just tend to not really... Yeah, delay poison communal, level 3. Okay, it's on my list. Uh, I, I tend to not lean on NPCs that much, I guess. Bad habit, since they're there to support yeah, us in giant, this case. You have specific. a whole adventuring party of NPCs, yeah, so one I of whom you've mine. consistently ignored. Who, Sandrew? <laughs> Sandrew. Yeah. Like Sandrew's here to keep everybody else alive while we're out mucking around. <laughs> Lindra talked to Sandrew. Yeah, yeah, Lindra talked to Sandrew. I was going to say, that's not entirely true. It's just, you know, we have some sunk cost in Sandrew. He's oh. mostly dead. He just oh, needs a dead. miracle. If he was actually dead. Yeah, right? He said to Yo. blave, which as we all know means to bluff. <laughs> <laughs> Jarl pretty much wants to just ignore Sandrew. Entirely so. Kind of like his brother. Yeah. <laughs> Sad family. Sandrew's Drama. brother ignored him as well. All right. All right. What's, so, uh... what's the plan besides treating Sandrew like shit even more? <laughs> I'm not treating him bad. I just don't have any real. You know. Of course, actually, Jarl doesn't know that he. he is a shadow dancer. Is a shadow dancer or works with shadows around. or anything yet? So yeah, that's out of character knowledge. You, you just know that he's a gangster things. yakuza with sweet tats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't mean anything unless he acts. All right, y'all. What are we gonna do? Any other preparations we can do to make this a little less painful next time? The flying was fantastic, by the way. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah, that was pretty cru crucial. Yeah. Linchpin right there. Flying it, does make things easier. It does seem like in uh, in absence of a bead of newt prevention, me casting companion mind link might be <laughs> useful. Useful. Uh, yeah, your spell would c would persist. Well, I can make... I don't know how that affects me being an int too, though. Yeah, well, it would mean that your bird is smarter than you are. Um... No, no, be quiet, Sid. I, I, I'll be the one that does the talking here. Of course, it hinges on it being an animal companion, so maybe that all falls apart when yeah. it stops being an animal companion. I don't know. I want to say, by the way, that this battle reminded me of the animal companion battle in the current arc of uh, Giant in the Playground, Order of the Stick. Yeah. Was the awesome. They were like, no, right Fluffy now. Tiger, no! <laughs> <laughs> He's too comfortable to die. 
Well, it's nothing but craft wonders and dispel with a 500 cost, so we can do one of them a day. If you spend eight hours of this day or yesterday. Right, so we can do three uh, three days worth of bead prevention and kind of put a stop to that, unless he hits us all multiple times and we fail multiple times. My two cents is it's worth taking eight hours of today to give my goats one. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So Plus. what is that? Bead it's just a non-slot item that you carry that crumbles and just gets destroyed when you get targeted from a baleful polymorph. There you oh, go. Okay. I put it Thank in chat. You. In uh, old 20 chat. All right, what else, y'all? We should get this moving. Uh, some lesser restorations from Koya for all our damage. Uh, sure. I done. have two lesser restorations racked. I can use those. No, nope. she's got enough to just completely wreck all of you of your damage. Well, why am I even memor? Well, I memorize mine for income. You probably want it so. for when you're in the dungeon. Yeah. So. But she uh, just so sits somebody... outside all day and talks to spirits. I'll, I'll take a lesser restoration if she's got it. Yep. Boom. Done. Um, I can cast Lesser Restoration, and since I don't know how that works when it's shared spell, but uh, yeah, yeah, I can cast. Seems like some bullshit, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. Okay, I'll roll 1d4 for it. Yay. The goats is back to full. All right. Maximum goat. All right. <laughs> Goat jokes. What's the plan now? He asked, not actually wanting to know the answer, as it's probably goat involved. Uh, we spend eight hours making a bead, right? Yep. yep. All right. After that, what's the new new plan? Well, we ripped the front door off, right? So we could yep. always go see how the door is doing. I'm going to guess agree. covered in webbing. Um, what's, our, what's our larger purpose? Our larger purpose is to learn about a way to remove the Oni that are chasing us. That's what we hope to accomplish by helping the friendly... They're not Oni, but the friendly guys. Kami? Kami. Right, that's our overarching purpose. And they want us to figure out what the hell's going on in the tower. And retrieve a plant, if I recall correctly. That's Although true. You we were asked to find a bonsai that. tree. Yep. yep. Okay. I'd forgotten about the bonsai tree. I had too. Did they tell us who they thought had possession of it? Nope. Or they have no they just idea. Said it, they just said it was in the tower? Yep. And that means it's in the spider part of the tower because they don't know about the underground part. So... We have some due diligence of exploring the remainder of that spider war. Okay. Is that right? Sure. Party members? Sure. Yep. I'm not opposed to doing what we did before, which is flying through the top and poke daylight spells through everything. Yeah, yep. continuing that way. I mean, well, there's only one Shadow Dancer left, so. <laughs> Just that we've seen. Come on now. Well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I would assume that he would have called more if he had them, if they were getting wrecked that bad. Uh, wave after wave, yeah. I don't know. So what's the plan? Mass cast fly again, and then coming through the top, work your way down? I believe so. I don't seem like the front door worked out all that well. Um, okay. Uh, one thing, do we have any way to deal with uh, swarms or lots of little spiders? Uh, I'm assuming we have gouts and gouts of fire. Place. Area effect fire is about yeah. about it, yeah. I have like 25 alchemist fire and 25 acid. Okay. I just just thought out there since we know the walls are covered in spiders. Or yeah, I've got a handful of alchemist fire. Whatever comes in the uh, um bag, the the kit for the. All right. Well, then I would like to uh, commandeer at least a. Uh, two of those so that we all have some since I don't think I have one. I'll just carry them and give them back if we don't need them. But that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, as you uh, work your way down into the stairs here, 
there are still the three dead bodies of the uh, Shadow Dancers, all trapped in the webbing, prevented from falling to the floor. Mm -hmm. Many feet below. What would you like to do? Uh, loot them. Okay. Uh, traps, maybe. You're checking their body for traps. No, no, no. Just check the area in case he trapped it while we okay. were gone. All right. Somebody that can do that. Yeah. Um, and do you have trap spotter or whatever it is that lets me trigger it for you when you're nearby, or is that not a thing? No. That is not a ranger okay. thing. All right. Uh, yeah, you look over the area for traps up here. You do not find any traps in the general area. It's just dark and webbed and sticky. Looking over the bodies, each one has a necklace of spider hair that seems to have been specifically woven from the color of Akinosa's own hair. Uh, eight masterwork daggers apiece. Black porcelain masks in a black silk kimono embroidered with dark draconic figures and two potions each of which are marked in sylvan okay i i did cast tongues which i think just lets me speak i'm not sure if i understand um let me check that out real quick okay. what do the masks look like uh looks like <laughs> Can you guys see that? Did that pop up? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. they look like that. So just kind of a feminine, uh, stylized feminine face? Yeah, human face. What do they call that? Uh, duck face? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. So I'm going <laughs> like to get in face. the comment section for that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Craig. So I, <laughs> the I mask of up. cheerleader's demeanor. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it's up to you, Arthur. I, I, I don't know one way or another. It says understand the language. So, yeah. Uh, I think so. Sure. Yeah. Uh, one of them, each one has a potion that reads Potion of Blur, and the other one reads Potion of Cure Series. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. So there are three of each of those, and then... Uh, a total of 24 masterwork daggers, three black porcelain masks, three black silk kimonos, and three necklaces made of spider hair. Does, it, do the, does any of it detect as magic? Uh, Other than potions? The potions do. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I don't want to burn the necklaces. Okay. What are you using to do it? Flint and steel. I'm looking to see. I, I don't remember. Yeah, if I took... I'm gonna. I'm gonna get you necklaces. Just give me a second. Just wait for a spark. <laughs> I did not take spark. So. All right. Well, after some vigorous motion, you eventually catch it on fire. Stinky burning hair. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Are we gonna go through the adding those things to the loot sheet later, or should I try to charge the loot sheet now? Um, I'll add it. Uh, okay. So what was it again? Is it in chat? Uh, I can put it in chat for you. Yeah, that's easier. Thank you. What's the plan? Keep on going. Anybody? Yep. Got anything else to do? Oh, um. Loot, dude. detect magic, move on. Right. Yeah. Uh, do I have any other? Uh, <clears throat> are there any party buffs that anybody else did besides the the, the fly? Like, do we have resist energy again or anything? Uh, yeah, I would have. Um, I would have cast mine on myself and Amadeus just like we did before, which is cold and light. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'll uh, I'll do a death watch, and uh, wand a, a shield other on. Amadeus. I think that's about all I have. Okay. Um, let's see. Most so, of the other uh, spells are reactive, so. So we're here right now, right? Yep. Does this go down to this? Yes. Okay. 
And you have been down there, Lee, Lee Tai. Is that right? Yep. And I haven't touched the floor or anything but like yeah, that. Leta and Jarl have both been down to area 9B. Okay. 9B? Okay. Yeah, we're going to be super careful about traps because he was bragging about how many thousands of traps he set and how badass they are. So. Okay. All right. All right. So. Should take our time then, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where are you checking for traps? Um, A ten A is below where we are right now. Yep. Okay, so you're flying down ten feet and looking over that area for traps. Yep. Uh, you don't find any traps. It's difficult to see through the area because it's completely covered in webbing. Uh, you spend most of your time fly crawling through the general vicinity. Is the webbing flammable at all? Quite. I mean, I know webs don't explode and burn everybody in the area. And all that, so they are quite it. flammable. So if we just torch them, it would clear a good way for us? Sure. I think we would be putting ourselves at risk if we set fire to the tower, especially if there was an ancient bonsai tree somewhere in the webbing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We wouldn't want to damage the tree if it's in there. Good call. Okay, never mind. We'll just be nasty, gross, sticky, cobwebby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eleven minutes. So yeah, we're in a hurry. Okay. All right. All right. Nine B is further down. Yep. Uh, we go there. I'll you do. Uh... There? Hmm? Uh, so let me describe the area. Thick webs converge on the ceiling of this shattered chamber. Ancient skulls grin down from their last terrible resting place, and skeletal arms seem to reach out. The sagging remnants of the floor hang over the rest of the webs below. A great ornamental palican stands on a dark ledge next to a huge war drum. Another webbed funnel leads upwards. Ornamental on the pelican? western wall, there is a painting that now hangs loosely. Behind it, you can see there is a secret panel. The painting is of Akinosa. <clears throat> Okay, you can see that the panel behind the painting does have a trap on it. If you were to touch the panel or anything around it, it would release some sort of, like, some a hole would open and something would come out of it. It's a spider. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that's probably a bad idea. Um... Um, I can try to, and disable it. Uh, I'm going to, uh, so th you said there's a panel on the wall, right? Yep. I'm going to cast clairvoyance and look past the panel and see if there's anything in there. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, inside you see six strings of gold coins. A silk purse embroidered with a arched bridge containing diamonds and spilling out of it. A black lacquered opium box. A magnificent bone and silver chalice set with jet, which holds three... Uh, the chalice has like three cups, and each one holds a giant pile of dust inside. Okay. I am going to tell people that there are riches uh, beyond that panel, and it's probably worth it, our effort here. Or we could come back later. Or we could I come suggest back later. we do not waste our 11 minutes searching yep. this, even though inevitably yep. the tower will collapse around us before we have time to get back. Yep. That is a fair we'll make, point. We'll make a note. So uh, can we uh, draw, draw a shape? Put a note here. I got your note. Here you go. Dollar sign. Okay. It's all about the platinums, baby. Okay. And keep on moving. 
get money. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect monsters acquire <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leta, when you move down into the next area, which again is also filled with webbing, you notice the webs here appear ancient and older, filled with decay and withered husks. The floor is bristled with stone teeth. Most of the ceiling that you've just passed through has been destroyed. But you do see the pillars that hold the entire structure up appear to still have their dragon motifs intact here. Around the room, there are eight large hunting spiders with an extremely unusual coloring. They are blue and white with iridescent blue legs. When you enter down through the ceiling, they just look at you with their eight eyes and then continue going around um, checking corpses and like eating stuff. <clears throat> there are thousands of trivial ottomans hanging from the hundred bodies lying here including a silver snuff box in the shape of a turtle, a rhinoceros horn, a jade belt hook, and a silver altar set with a lotus flower decoration. There's also an incense burner that is just hanging in the air. Um, I'll ask if anyone detects any magic in here. I will try and detect. Uh, there is no magic here. When you begin casting the spells, all eight of these sapphire blue spiders all turn towards you and begin making like... Okay, let's not do that anymore. Um, how, big are, how big are they? Quite large. At least as large as a man. Okay. That wasn't the language they were speaking, because he's got tongues on, right? That's correct. They're not speaking a language. They're just making spidery just noises. Spidery noises. Is there an exit from the room? There is, through the floor. Yeah. I suggest we quietly move on through. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we could try that. Deeper, darker. Okay. Freaking wild looking spiders, man. Right? Yeah. Iridescent blue. All right, you can set yourselves up in this particular room however you want. The webbing rises to become a black curtain draping the ceiling of the chamber, with only a single funnel of webs rising up or down. Numerous humanoid bodies hang from the webs here, shriveled and desiccated. Passing through the area, you find a set of masterwork nunchucks, a potion bottle, a fine teak carving of a Tianese man, a breastplate, pair of fine leather shoes and an opal inside one of the shoes. Really? Yep. There's a, there's a jewel in the shoe. <laughs> That's strange. Any Are magic? they magic? Uh, the potion is magical. Okay. You quickly identify it as a potion of Cure Serious. Okay. So that's a potion of Cure Serious for all four of us now. Nice. Okay. What would you like to do? Again, is there a way out of here? Just through the floor. Same as before. Okay. All right. That's fifth floor. That's ladies' floor. lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <It's a> spider. <laughs> so this area eight is completely open. You're going to have to fly down. And it continues down to the next level, which has an actual staircase rather than webbing you're going to have to go through. Traps. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't find any traps in here with a 36. <clears throat> Hundreds of stone needles and spikes jet from the floor of this large open chamber. A row of iron grills runs the perimeter of the room, providing views into the level below. Thick webs sweep upward from the floor to the roof, ending in a dark and shadowy funnel that slopes upward into the reaches of the pagoda. 
On each wall, a round window surrounded by iron barbs overlooks the garden. Now, if you'll remember, you can't see these windows from the outside. So they're rather unusual. Yeah, because it was pretty much featureless on the outside except for the door, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, <coughs> there are several cupboards and concealed storage areas around the room, all of which appear to be open. You can see that opium has been spilled along the walls and the floor. There are four gold pieces that have been spilled in random locations. Everything from within these chests has all been removed. Mm -hmm. Any uh, any magic? There is no magic in this room. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to maintain concentration of detect magic. Okay. Um. I we guess still we'll have go down the stairs then. We still have some time to fly, so there's no reason why we have to touch the stairs unless Amadeus doesn't fit while flying. Yeah, you can fly down the stairs. Alright. Down the stairs? Okay. Yep. With every room that something dramatic doesn't happen, I get more and more anxious. I know. Yes. It's like they saved all their points for the last room. It's going to suck. All right. So can you guys arrange yourselves in this particular room while you're getting dramatic and anxious? Yeah. <laughs> um, Take it up the rear. I was fixing say you're not on a square. There we go. Can everyone make a uh, perception check for no apparent reason? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I <God>. see it. <laughs> Minus one. I got this shit. It's okay. It's okay, guys. We got it. Me and my goats, we're all over it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no skill point room for perception. And if only <laughs> you could have been one of the two blind mice. I, I have two <laughs> skill points a level because it's required that they give them to you as a cleric. Okay. Uh, roll for initiative. Four great columns carved with depictions of dragons overlook a gruesome scene in the center of the pagoda. Four gibbets hang from an iron column in the center of the chamber next to a steep stone spiral stair that climbs to the ceiling. Is it not gibbet? Or is it, it is gibbet? It could be gibbet. I don't know, this man. Oh, it is. Right. It's yeah. Gibbet. The only way I know from it is from Dragon Age Inquisition, where the Inquisitor says, "Is it pronounced Jibbe?" It looks like yep. it's gibbet, based on my Google search. Okay. Know that. Well, then get gibbeted. You're gonna have to do me manual, Arthur. I'll full right. bard it. I will add it. Well, shit. Uh, pa as part of first. your checking for traps. Right. Uh, in your perception, you do notice this entire east wall is filled with traps. Every square has its own individualized trap that consists of the following. Uh, stepping on the floor will cause numerous shurikens to fire from, like, wall-mounted shuriken launchers. Uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to reveal some of these so you understand what I'm talking about. There are small walls within this facility. I think you guys can see those now. <clears throat> that yeah, are 5 by 8 uh, lacquered pagoda screens. Mm. You know, like a dressing screen that you would walk behind. Made out of solid iron. Wow. Oh. Okay. Finally got the descriptions underway. Now we're adding Yarl at a 14.4. And then we've got Team Ambush. <coughs> Team Ambush. I activate my surprise. Oh, oh, they look like undead. Okay. So Guys, round. They're up first. Can I get some cool music going on? No, but I can probably get some decent music going on. So what happens is 
you you come down and you guys are like looking at the walls you're like wow look at all this cool stuff and then two skeletons that still have organs stuffed in their stomachs and rib cages pop around the corner and unleash their huge tongues like <laughs> towards you Ew. that's disgusting <laughs> Uh, what is Sin and Amadeus's touch ACs? Uh, it's like 14 or 15. <laughs> okay. And these are flat foot touches, so those might not hit. How does your flat foot touch look? Uh, what do we lose? Dex? Dex. So it's Sin has an 11, and Amadeus has a 10. Alright, excellent. I need both of you to make fort saves versus paralysis. Is it poison? Uh, nope. Phew, wow. I'm acing my saves, baby. Alright, so what happens Fort, is both so of these creatures... A 19 and a 17. Yeah, wrap their tongues around both of your faces, and both Sin and Amadeus immediately freeze in place. Or... One minute apiece. The rest of your life. Could be, could be. All right, later you notice that Sin and Amadeus just immediately do. I don't know if you guys uh, have seen this Fallout Four video, but it's uh, using r rock rock syringes to find death claws and then shoot them so their joints lock up and then roll them down mountains. That's what happens to Sin and Amadeus? They immediately hit the ground and just fall over. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Sin stops flying. We hit the ground. Do we trigger <laughs> traps? No, the traps are all along the east wall. They're on the wall? Yep. Okay, all right, good. So you just hit the ground and fall over and drool. Yep. All right. Good time. Okay. Um, I don't have knowledge religion, but I'm betting in 11 levels <laughs> I've run into skeletons at some point. Yeah, these aren't skeletons. They definitely still have organs inside of them, and you've never seen anything with a tongue like that. Um, not even on the latest Rolling Stones store. Uh, anyway. Mm, uh, mm. I'll just open fire on the north one. Could have just gone with Kiss, man. That would have been acceptable. <laughs> yeah, open fire on the north one. Let's do it. Uh, these are at plus, plus two because they're undead, I'm assuming? Yep. Okay. Eight, seven, and then another three for each one. So three, three, and three is nine. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, I'm. If I'm not well prepared, I'm not nearly as effective as this character, but I'll try. All right. <laughs> Done. Slightly more goats. What would you like to do? Okay. So this is a wall. Yes. That's a pagoda. Or, uh... Is this a wall? Yep. All right. I'm going to cast a wall of force. And I will draw it from this wall to this wall, separating okay. one from the group. Now so we only have to deal with one right son now. Son of a bitch. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm all set. Amadeus and Sin, what's it like sitting on the ground with Amadeus's weight crushing you and pinning you in place? While you drool. Uh, I feel firmly between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Wow, <laughs> bonus <laughs> points, man. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, Jarl, <laughs> just fucking go. Wow. Um, <clears throat> I will do a power of faith so bad 30 foot radius all allies in the area plus one morale bonus to AC attack rolls damage rolls saving throws for fear cool. okay alright anything else uh, that's it all right, Press the one behind the north wall begins skittering away. 
bastard. Is the wall visible? Nope. It's the wall of force? Yes. Okay. Like a giant orange forcey wall that you can see. Never, I, I never like to make any assumptions about Pathfinder spells anymore because I'm always wrong. Visible, actually. How far does it go? It, are you saying it's not visible? Yeah, I, th I, think, I think it's invisible. I thought yeah, they were all visible. It is, in fact, invisible. That's one of the benefits of it, actually. So they waste five <laughs> foot yeah. of right. thing walking into it, sure. Fong. Right. Invisible exactly. wall of pure force, sure, yeah. It happens. And then it skitters away. Bonk. And then skitters away. Okay. Uh, Yarl, what is your touch AC? <laughs> My touch AC is 19. There. And it does this thing okay yeah can you make a uh fort save versus paralysis all right good. good and it gets the other two things 15 and 15. Well, nope. Well, I'm guessing a 19 is not going to hit you. No. Uh, so this uh, time it slams his body into you twice, but it's just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it's not not very effective. It's much better at trying to tongue lash. Yep. All right, Leta. The one you damaged um, has skittered away, and this one has come forward. Yeah, I will fire at it, and the um, first arrow will have a bludgeoning trap attached to it. And I'm not factoring in the plus one from that other spell. Okay. So these are all plus three, plus three. Okay. All right. The bludgeoning trap will go off. Right. The second, the two other two arrows, uh, the th second one will miss. The first iterative will hit. Uh, the trap will hit. And then minus nine. Okay. Yeah, you you definitely like start shredding this creature, and you can see blood is dripping from its distended, horrible organs still packed within its gut. I yell to the cleric, "What do you know about this thing?" Oh, I had a turn, didn't I? You did. Yeah. Don't I worry, I got another one coming up. I got a religion check. More goats. What would you like to do? Uh, cast ball lightning on the creature. Okay. I got three of them now. Oh wow, those are insane rolls. It's crazy. Does it get a reflex against each one or just one overall? Uh, each one. Okay, takes sixteen. Yeah, it sees all these ball lightnings coming. It's just like dodging left and right, and the last one just hits it right in the stomach, where it's like. <laughs> All right, Amadeus, you're still paralyzed. Yarrow. Uh, knowledge, religion. That I should have done last turn. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, undead. I got nothing. It displays yep, many of the undead. qualities. Yep. Yep. It's an undead. You've never encountered anything quite like this. Obviously not. You've never. Had a <laughs> friend like me. Da 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 da. I really like that movie. Oh, Someone that suggested awesome. I rewatch it. I will uh, attack this one with my smite, and also including the. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. Well, I'm pretty sure you're attacked. Thousand. Wow. Maybe you rolled 1d 2015, bro. Oh. I gotta say, <laughs> oh, I got a, 1859 I got a on a 2015 missing. is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, let me put a. Let me just move that, this over to the other one and see what that happens. That is your uh, deity leaning heavily in your favor. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Wow. I, 
I missed a plus sign in the formula there. So let's try this again. Six and nine. Really? You wrote, you and have a just, minus 20 now, but you still rolled a one. <sighs> what? You rolled a one on both attacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah Amazing. Sure that's, that's still have a minus 20, insane. but yeah, you rolled a one on both, so you miss. What did that? Oh my gosh, it's killing me. Killing me, man. You should have stuck with the 2015. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's going to move in and continue. Yeah, I should have just used the rolls from the first one and moved Battering on. you. Uh, but, it's going to touch you with its tongue again, so you need a free um, save. And it does. And it's my smite target, so I get a bonus to saves. Okay. Son of a gun. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. And then with a plus 15, uh, 33 versus AC. Uh, currently, I am 35 versus them. They have hit me, though, right? So that 4 goes away. So 31, I believe. Okay. Let me do my AC sheet real quick and make sure. So. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes it's slow going between the 45 sheet. Yep, 31, so that is a hit. All right, you get hit for 2d8 plus 5. Take 10 points of damage, and it enters a grapple with you. Latching itself on, pulling you closer to its horrible, gruesome visage. As an immediate action, I uh, cast uh, Liberating Command. Fascinating. What's your bonus to that? Plus 20. Okay, Yarrow. Make an escape wow. bonus check with plus 20. Um... Yep, okay, you're free. Wow, nice, thank you. I assume, no Magoats, you just started singing Let It Go. Yeah. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Wow. I really feel like Disney should be paying me money to promote Frozen all the time. I mean, I literally cannot cry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Leita. I shoot it. A bunch of times. Okay. I feel like I that's do one thing, thing and do. I do it well. Uh, it dies. Nice. All right. All right. Um, we'll see if we stay in initiative for the other one to come back. I will move a little and be done. Okay. Uh, the goats. I'm gonna ask folks if I should at, or dismiss my wall of force to let the other one through. Let me go up and look through it and see what's down there first. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you spent a full round action shooting stuff, right? So you'll have to. Yeah, I don't it. mean now. I mean on okay. my next turn. All right. So what are you doing, the goats? Uh, I will actually move in one, two, three, four, five, and I'll stand on the other side of the wall here, six. Okay. So that I can see. And I do have dark vision, so. Yep. The area kind of looks like that. Okay. What about on the other side of the wall? There you go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say I don't see anything yet, and I'm going to move back. All right. Sin, what thoughts are going through your head right now? Nothing. Well, if we're in, if we're out of combat, I can. You cast are not it. out of combat. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Yarl, what are you doing? Is it my turn? Yep. Okay, I will cast a uh, remove paralysis on Sin. Okay. 
Oh, that works. And as a move action, I'll pull out a Pearl of Power. Do you need to make a roll for that, or does it just happen? I would have to read, because I just don't know. Pretty sure it just happens. Okay. Let me tell you something about Critical Roll, by the way. Today, there was someone who was like, All right, my teammate is falling. I want to cast Hold Person to hold him in place. And everyone was like, No! No! That's not what it does! <laughs> That's a really <laughs> nice interpretation, though. Because they were falling. They were, like, free-falling. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty funny. Yep. All right, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. It, if cast on two creatures, each receives another say with a plus four bonus. So do you want to cast it on both Sin and Amadeus uh, or just one of them? How... Well, I don't remember their roles. No, I'm just going to cast it, and I'll Pearl Power a second one back. Okay. All right, Sin, you are prone, trapped under the bulk of Amadeus, which you can easily slide out from, but you are no longer paralyzed. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, from around the corner, this creature comes skittering, like... like uh, <laughs> and begins moving immediately towards Sin. Of course it does. Alright, Leita. I guess I can switch out Liberating Command, since uh, I obviously don't need that. Unless my goats get grappled. <laughs> Who my goats the my goats? I guess. I I would assume he could do that on himself, I'm gonna right? I'm going to start a comic book called The Goatsman. I'm actually not sure. It does say an ally. Yeah. Uh, that usually means... Is it, uh, is it verbal and somatic components? It is not somatic. It's merely verbal. All right. Then you it is, do however, an immediate action to cast it and an immediate action to take the... Ah, uh, uh, that would be it. Ah, yep. uh, okay. Then I will keep... That's why you can't do it on yourself. That's right. Thanks. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, Leita, what are you doing here? You want to guess? Uh, well, I mean, you tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Oh, shoot. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want to, want to, want to, want to, want to really, really, really want to zig a zig -zam. <sighs> So don't Art. go wasting my precious time. Get your act together. We can be just fine. <laughs> Yo, man, my gym has spice scrolls on repeat, y'all. Shit is down. 11, 11. Okay, you kill it. Boom. Combat over. Wow. Nice. Tell me how you, like, murder the fuck out of this thing, because it's definitely dead. Wow. I Impressive. pick five individual organs and knock them each out with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I think it lost its spleen, gallbladder, stomach, lungs, and heart. They were in lights. Wow. Right. I... We're going to assume that I always recover my durable arrows unless something prevents me from doing so. Like death. You might, you might have to wipe them off running away. An entire or an entire room full of floor traps. I'll uh, cast press to digitate to clean them off for you. <laughs> Get off the skeleton goo. Because <laughs> that, that shit is nasty. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. What the heck? So, he actually scattered all the way around. Oh, yes. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow, okay. Wow. That looks obnoxious. All right. Um. So, I'm going to just take 10 on trap finding. Okay. There are a number of additional traps in the area, all of which are easy to avoid once you know what you're looking for. Okay. Like I say, don't out. go there. Watch that. Don't trip on that. Try not to sneeze on that. Okay. What do you want to do? I see stairs. Is, is that a red thing against the back wall, a thing we can see, or is that something for you? Uh, can you, can you indicate... The door. That's a door to the outer ring. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Hey, look at door. Yeah. So, so what do you guys want to do? 
Uh, uh, the rest of the floor has an equal set of tra uh, traps and screens. Uh, it seems clear, looking through the grates from above, that this is a, a maze of some sort, and uh, people would like watch you moving through the maze from above. Oh. Can, can we get above? You were above before. But we I can't get through the floor. Right. So through this, you had to go through the staircase to get. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Then I guess we'll move over to the door, right? Head for the stairs. Yep. My my balls follow me. They last a little. <laughs> they last a little bit longer. If we uh, get in the combat. Okay. Well, you play with your balls all you want. Oh yeah. They're 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 kind of like juggling. Shocking display. <laughs> To mark off that I had used my smart. See, does it take uh, does it take eight rounds to get around all this? Yeah. Okay. Then they then the balls are gone. Because you guys are moving at a at a pace where you can detect traps. All right, uh, you arrive at the uh, hallway. And do we still have fly? Has it been eleven minutes? Uh, it has not been eleven minutes. It's probably cool. been about three minutes. Okay. Cool. So you have eight left. I'm going to mark that on my fly spell. So we pop out over here. Yep. Oh. Uh, I didn't ever say that, but I would have liked to spend some time explicitly talking to Amadeus about the trials and tribulations of the last day. Did so, you want to uh, role play that out? Um, uh, whenever time for that is appropriate. Okay. Uh, there are a number of traps on this floor, but none of them matter because they all involve setting off pressure plates in the floor, and you are all flying, so uh. just float right over them. Coolness is achieved. Hey, look, doors to go outside. Well, oh, there used to be doors. Now they're off the hinges, right? Didn't you guys, like, yeah. destroy the door somehow? Yeah, but we still yeah. couldn't get through, right? Or could no? Well, that's we right. Just, we could get through. We just decided to. You you used it as like a distraction, so you could teleport yeah, to right. the top and come in. That's right. Yeah. Because if we heard Akinosa, and we're like, "Hey, let's uh, let's go get that Dodge asshole." Dodge, Bob, and weave. Okay. Move around and see what's inside. Okay. Inside the area, the, the floor has been completely destroyed, and there is now a hole that leads into the ground. A warm breeze carries the unpleasant smell of decay that wafts upward into the web-filled shaft. Ew. Seems like an easy Ew. fly to go further down. I put, I put, I roll my uh, hood up over my uh, nose. <laughs> That's legit. Quick trap check. Uh, you see no traps along the perimeter of the room or on the rim. So, um... Hmm. Is it worth it to clairvoyance to see what's down there first? As long as you're not running low on spells. Uh, well, I still got... Yeah, I still got plenty. I'm going to clairvoyance and see what's down there. All right, prepare for a giant block of stuff. Gotta go. Go. I'll just have to start using my fourth slot level slots for some third levels. That's not a big I deal. I like chicken. I like liver. Meow mix. Meow mix. Please deliver. Meow. 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 That's 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 beautiful, Arthur. Meow, Thank right? You. <laughs> that's awesome. I want to make sure everybody's on the same size. That's correct. My cat loves singing that song, man. Yeah. Okay. Cats, cats love food. <laughs> I'm going to show you what the area looks like. I'm going to show the audience, and then I'm going to do a lot of talking. Uh, the area looks roughly like this at the bottom. On the door, there are two human peasants 
both of whom have nails in their shoulders, which are pinning them to the door. They appear unconscious but alive. What? We're the talking fuck? like railway spikes that are driven into the door, pinning them there. Wow. Uh, beyond that, you can see shapes moving and arrow slits at both the door and all along the perimeter of this. It looks like someone carved out a room here very expertly and then built a fortress within the room. Oh my like, God. this is a later addition that was added to the architecture. Are we going to be able to shoot through those slits? Um, it's very tough. difficult. Yeah, very difficult. People on the far side of the arrow slits get improved cover, which means plus eight to their AC. And the door, um, what's that made of? The door is made of brass. Brass, okay. All right, so uh, the walls appear to be a honeycomb patterns all along them. In each, like, hexagonal space, there's a picture of an oni, but each oni has its face deformed and twisted. It looks like someone came back here after all of these beautiful walls of onis were created and defaced them, removing the visage from each one. Um, there are images all along the ceiling and floors that depict uh, food, drink, Sex between mortals and violence driven upon mortals. Huh. The stone walls are cracked and tilted, and the floors are ruptured and uneven, making it impossible to run or charge against them unless you are very acrobatic. Or flying. Or flying. Well, you're not running and charging along floors if you're flying. <laughs> so. Specifically... In the stairwell that you're currently in, uh, my goats, in, uh, in various languages. So, like, none of these accountings is complete in any one language. It's like someone starts in one language and then just leaves off and starts in another language. Uh, they speak about the five storms, each one of which represents a different faction of Oni kind, like a different race within it. Uh, are all led by a wind yai oni named Anna Muruman, who appears to be the only consistent member, who from time to time will murder the rest of the members when they displease him, and replace them with anyone he feels like. They are disorganized and easily distracted, but quite powerful. They constantly have internal conflicts and disruptions, and uh, during that time... If they go too far in their corruption, and uh, Muruman will just destroy all of them and start anew again. Wow. Uh, also, at the bottom, in in like repeated threats, there's a message over and over again about how Anna Muruman is too powerful to stand against. He has power over storms and lightning. Uh, P the whoever the author is appears to have just like contemplated various ways to to disrupt their power, but laments their cowardice and weakness. And uh, for some reason, they keep mentioning they don't have enough copper. They don't have enough copper. Copper. Hmm. All right. So that is what you see in your brief clairvoyance. Okay. What do y'all want to do? Well, um, I can cast a major image to kind of create a distraction while we uh, try to get that door down. But it's gonna, I, How? I remember the first door up, up top was hard to get down, right? Um, can For a dimension door, all you really need is line of effect or line of sight. Arthur? You don't even need that. Mm -mm. Just, yeah. You just have to. You choose a direction and a distance. That's all you need. Oh. But so there's weird just... teleport. No, like dimension door didn't work for me earlier, right? No, it that was going in and out. It was going through. Oh. Walls. Yeah. Oh. I so, will say you don't know if the rules have changed now that you're yeah. you'd be teleporting okay. from above ground to below ground. Okay. Because well, it's supposed to work within the tower. Right. Now, 
one thing let's about also, let me, hold on one more second one more comment we second. know that Akinosa disappeared through a door when he left yep. and we don't know where he oh. went and we haven't found yeah. him yep. and he's not visible and we've explored all of the tower that we could find so that's not he, to say he didn't just dimension door down to the bottom floor and walk down walk, the stairs yeah. and then through right but well, we can we can also just walk down the stairs and stop at the last round out of sight and then do it from there too so yeah if we think it's an issue well uh one one very big issue with dimension door is i can only bring along three medium-sized creatures with me yep so Uh, i i would actually need to use teleport have the uh have the mischance because teleport will allow me to bring everybody well you wouldn't have to mamadeus can wait outside and start banging on the door there's your distraction I don't know if I really want to be in there without. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> of course, we can get right back out again, but uh, one medium creature per three casters. Well, I'm oh medium or smaller. Okay, so I was gonna say I'm small, so that might adjust, but it doesn't. I still count as one. Okay. Uh, Arthur, there something just showed up. Yep, those are the people nailed to the door. Okay. Actually, I might have. No, that doesn't work. It's not a teleport thing. Is Taking it? a second, y'all. I gotta find out what that noise is. It's what? probably not like that time earlier when someone walked into my house and started talking to me mid-broadcast. <laughs> Good times. Hopefully I, not. I live a fulfilling and strange life. Mm-hmm. Uh, my internet's taking a bit to load. Second. Okay. Oh shit! New episodes of the Expanse from Sci-Fi are going to be available shortly. I actually thought the first episode of that wasn't terrible. So, with improved precise shot, I even ignore improved cover, right? <laughs> uh, does it say that? I mean, that sounds like something it might say. It says. Uh, ignore anything less than total cover. Sure. Okay. Thread that needle. Just think if you were a Zen archer, you could shoot with your eyes closed around corners. (sighs) There's a new metamagic feat that lets you cast spells around corners Mm, and and stuff like that. Of course there is. (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if spellcasting need to be any more broken. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for the teleport option to bring us all past the door. I mean, it's on you, wizard or sorcerer. It's all one roll no matter how many people you take. Yeah. I mean we've never all died together in the one split seconds of a splitting of an atom. <clears throat> and it's not to say that the uh, plane of ethereal madness that you teleport us to will even kill us instantly. It may take eons. <laughs> God. That's pretty hideous, man. Thanks. You sound like a Norwegian. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could also It's just not to say the that our deaths would be quick. No, <laughs> it may take a while. Yeah. While we are there, all we will have to pass the time is discussing whether to place the firewood bark side up or <laughs> bark side down. There's also the matter of the two crucified people. Yeah. <laughs> Which we should probably try to save. Yeah, so uh maybe we can hammer their nails out from the inside. Would this be considered seen casually? Mm, you've never actually seen the inside of it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, see, because that that ramps up in a hurry. Yeah, it yep. does. So we would have to get close enough to look through. Yeah. I mean, I guess. And it would. Uh, you. I mean, you don't even have viewed once. You literally have no basis yeah. for it. Right. I'd have to clairvoyance the other side to see it. That's correct. Yeah. Or you could dimension door over dimension door back and then teleport. Well, I mean, he's looking at this with clairvoyance. I assume that we'd be able to clairvoyance inside I, if they haven't blocked it somehow. So. I'm looking like. Here with clairvoyance. Not here. Right. Yeah, yeah. You hadn't 
You didn't it know says, until the studied minute. carefully is a place you know either because you can physically see it or you've been there often. And viewed once a place you've seen, possibly using magic such as scrying. So Yep. He if he is clairvoyance, it'll literally be viewed once. Yeah, or I could just dimension door the four of us and have Amadeus work on the door. Right. Without killing the hostages, we hope. Right. Okay. Yep. You guys have any thoughts? Uh how stealthy is a ranger? Yeah, that's true. Um, that's a good question. Uh, um, not very, as in don't even have a rank in it. <laughs> <laughs> how's, your, how's your dexterity? Makes that Warm decision. Oh, it's plus six, but. Well, if I cast greater invisibility on you, you can, uh, you can get in there, right? Why wouldn't you just cast greater invisibility on yourself, walk up to the arrow slits, look through them to know the place, oh, and yeah. then teleport us inside? Okay. Yep, now, sure, that works. The, we know there's traps. There's no yep. reason not to suspect this wouldn't be coded in traps. So we should be careful. But if you okay. fly and are greater invisible... Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's try that out. I cast greater invisibility on myself. I go down in the hole. Okay. I... <laughs> now, were you the one who had Death Watch on you? I have Death Watch. Oh, it's you who had Death Watch. All right, my goats, can you actually move yourself down there? Uh, can actually, where is my token? Um, and my so death watch range I grab is everyone? anything within, I think, 50 feet. I'm going to have everybody just be back at the thing, and then my goats can move forward as needed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is a very large chamber, huh? Oh, here goes nothing. I'm going to float over invisibly. Okay, so as you float down the tunnel and then into here, you begin to hear voices speaking in Goblin. I believe you'll be able to understand that, correct? Yep. Yep. Uh, so you hear a conversation going on from beyond the arrow slits, and uh, it sounds something like this. Yes, I am so tired of having to put up with this. Even the swine shogun is being driven under the foot of our great goddess. Ah, yes, yes, I agree with you, brother. It is getting a little strange what she's asking of us, but at least she's not that fool Akinosa. I will say it is rather difficult living without the servants. Not really sure why we're keeping them, you know, in such a state. And a third voice goes, Yes, we should just let them go. She'll never know that we let them go. And the first voice goes, No, of course no, don't let them go. She can see everything. She's a goddess. She can probably hear us now. And the third voice goes, No, of course she can't hear us now. Otherwise, she would know that we talk about her all the time. <laughs> okay. So what was that name that I heard? Uh, I don't know that you heard a particular name. Just the goddess? Goddess, yeah. Do I have um, any prior knowledge of... A goddess of some sort that I would know they're talking uh, about? I don't know that you know of any goddess Okay. of, of any sort. You can make a religion check. I don't Certainly. have that. Okay, yeah, then you have no idea who these hobgoblins might follow. Um, hop, hop you do, goblin. however, detect that their goblin is definitely hobgoblish. Okay. So it's more militant. It's They use a lot of like specific code words. Okay, so, um, well, clearly they're going to be prepared for a fight. I, I, I doubt that they'd really, you know, not fight anything that comes down here. So I'm going to go ahead and float along the floor. Um, okay. My path is going to be like this. All right. Uh, when you get there, you can see that there's enough space you could float over top the walls of this fortress. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, oh, so it's wow. not like a... Um... Yeah, like I said, it's built inside the room. Okay. And, and we still I have just assumed that it was floor-to-ceiling walls. Okay. Nope, nope. It's and we a... still have some time left on our fly? Scale, on our fly? Yeah, plenty of time. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly over it. I'm going to float back and uh, tell everybody what's up. So you heard someone talking? 
yeah, I, I, I relay all the, uh, all the pr pretty much it, it's a, it's a bunch of hobgoblins in there, and they're talking, and and they were actually were thinking about letting the crucified people go. Or it's really strange. They 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 they, they seem to be unsure of their leader. Okay, because I I'd really, um, I'd really like to get them down and try yeah. to prevent them from dying. Sure. Before we worry about anything else, I can't. I can't bypass that. Okay. Um, let's see. While we're while we're talking, I think the great invisibility wears off. But um, we could. I mean, I, I don't think they're in danger of dying right away. I don't think the top couples are concerned with them. So if we flew over the wall for the uh, fort, I think we could uh, take them out and then 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 rescue the rescue the uh, prisoners. Okay. Yeah, I'm a disc can fit over the wall too, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, my All concern right. is that they will do something to kill them or use them as sacrifices somehow if we if we initiate combat. That's my fear. Was there anyone within um like range uh, they're they're hanging like in front of the door, right, Arthur? Uh, okay, so when you... Do, you flew over the area to get a look at them? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, you could see four halflings that... Or uh, four hobgoblins that look like the following. Okay. Uh, Ooh. They're hanging out. The two that are near the walls are next to what appear to be boiling cauldrons of fat that are at a steady royal. The other two just sit, sitting on the floor next to bows. Appear where, to be playing a game where they like toss rocks at each other. <laughs> and where, where is the, uh, this cauldrons? boiling oil placed? They're in, at? they're in cauldrons next to the two who are near the walls. Okay. okay. Could they reach the people with them? Uh, it looks like they're meant only to be pushed out the arrow slits or perhaps oh. things through the door. So they couldn't specifically hit the people on the walls. Okay. But if you like stood in front of the door, they could push it through the door onto you. Okay. And the people are pretty much hanging on this side of the door. Yes. Okay. So I think it's pretty reasonable that they're safe for now. Okay. All right. Well, I can always just fly over the wall and burst. Yep. Let's uh, get uh, get them ready. Let's go. Before we right. run out of fly. Any All other right. plans I'm, we need to do? Uh, right before we do that, I'm going to cast taste so that we uh, move twice as fast into combat. I will go ahead and cast a bless as well then. Okay. Can you hear me, Dave? I haven't heard you talk for a while. It's because his his Skype is dropping. Okay. I uh, stand corrected. I don't have bless. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> With everybody's tasted, um. Movement speed, we should be able to get over there pretty quickly. Okay. Once, uh, once Dave came back, comes back, I guess. Uh, do we still have the resist energy? That's gone, right? Yeah. Do you, okay. Would you like one? Uh, I don't think so. Not for these guys, anyway. Yeah. I, I can cast that, too, so... I doubt if we're going to need it for Hobgoblin, so we save yeah. the points. Look at that Hobgoblin racism. What if they're all Hobgoblin sorcerers? They, they could be Hobgoblin sorcerers and wreck us. True. Absolutely. You act like just because they're Hobgoblins, they can't have magic. Racist. Okay. Spacious bastard. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead the charge. I say. So just wait, 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 wait for me, and I'll uh, and I'll go forth. Uh, we're waiting for uh, Dave, though, right? I think he's I can back. hear you. Oh, cool! There ah, you there we go. I can hear you too. All right. So, a twenty foot radius spread. Uh, are these um, <clears throat> are these squares still five feet, Arthur? Uh, you are five foot size. The squares are ten feet. Squares are 10 feet, okay. Right, so you just need to align yourself with two lines, right? So, for instance, when you're here against two lines, you're in the you're in a, a square. Okay. 
So 20 feet. OK, 20 foot spread. 20 foot spread. Does that reach them? So if I put it here. Yeah, it looks like it hits everybody, right? No, it doesn't. It, so it hits all but one. So are you flying down alone to do something? Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave the charge. We're... Yeah, we'll all move out as as equally as you let us. I mean, the first person that comes down that's not invisible is going to be super obvious. So okay. Yep. Uh, I mean, is McGoats like attacking before that happens, or? I, th I think uh, everybody's just going to ready until after. Um... Well, del delay until they're on the same initiative order after me. Basically, I, w I want to. I mean, that's the thing. We're not entering combat while you guys wait up okay. here, and then you all you'll have a surprise round with which to come out. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think I can hit them all with black tentacles, but uh, I was thinking about it. I can hit some of them. Yeah, let's do that. Just hit, uh, I'm going to be putting my blessings up just before he goes. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll we'll all go as a group then. And so I, I'm going to move uh, 60 feet. So if you're all going as a group, it is obvious you're coming down the staircase, right? Okay. Yep. Sure. Okay. Be, yeah. All right. So when you when you appear at the bottom of the staircase, one of the hobgoblins is like. Intruders coming! It might be the Araneus. Prepare yourselves, brothers. And the other one goes, Halt! Who goes there? In Goblin. Oh, they're actually going to talk. Okay. I, I respond in Goblin, not the Araneus. <laughs> uh, you're invisible, though, right? I'm not. Uh, I, oh, we, you're we, not we, invisible. We, we, yeah, we've spent enough time talking. A little uh, bit. So the and Hobgoblin actually... on the south side is like, Remain where you are, citizen. You have entered the holy domain of Muna Saraku and the Swine Shogun. Uh, I, 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 know, I know not of this. Uh, I was sent here to investigate um, the fact that there are Oni escaping from this place. And the, the hobgoblin like looks behind him through the arrow slit and then turns back and says, I don't know anything about Oni. Uh, sense motive, probably not good. Nope. My sense motive is shit. I'm not even, even going to bother rolling it. Um, well, I, I, we believe, I, I, we have reason to believe that they are trapped under here, or we're supposed to be. So he looks troubled when you say that and says, you are looking for someone who is trapped here. Underneath the tower, yes. What are your intentions towards such a person? I want to make sure... Uh, I, well, basically, I want to see if they're still trapped here. Um, th 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 uh, and so, yeah, he digs in further. He's like, to what end? To what end? That's, it, we we're sitting here to investigate. That is my end, to investigate. Stay here. Don't move. And you can see the one on the north side remains in place, and the one on the south side kind of pulls back out of out of sight and begins whispering in goblin with the others. Okay. Uh, you hear a door open. How long are you willing to wait? Yeah, asked me to stay here, uh, and, and uh, so I relay all this information to to my. Uh, my buddy's in the Terran uh, Whisper Network, and uh, let them know what's up. I think they're trying to get their leader, who may be an Oni. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, we'll wait and see. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll wait and see. After five minutes, uh, yep. a different hobgoblin comes back and says, The great and honorable swine shogun invites you to a feast in your honor. You will be given safe passage through his realm and to exit from it afterwards. 
Do you have any dietary restrictions resolving pigs, pig-like entities, or boars? I, in fact, have eaten many of such things, and I, and I absolutely adore all of them. Then you may enter. Uh, I, I, and, 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 I, and I gesture towards my friends at this point. Uh, every, everybody's allowed. Did, did, does anybody have any dietary restrictions? No. Okay. Calm. Say, we, 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 we may all consume the, uh, the delicious meat of the pig. <laughs> okay, so we go on a bit of a field trip here. If you want to, don't move your tokens because we're just going mm -hmm. on a thing. Okay. Well, in, in the intervening five minutes, okay, I would like to use my death watch, which I, as long as I can see them, they're disabled but not dead. Yep. So if I can channel burst from where I'm standing from thirty feet, I can reach them to heal them. Uh, yes, but right they're right way there. farther than 30 feet. 30 feet is oh, like the squares are far more than... Yeah. yeah, the squares are all 10 foot large. Oh, okay, so I, I don't want to irritate them by moving up. So that's why I was asking about the squares. Okay. Oh, I should use a ruler. That would have been smart. Never I, mind, I, then. I, uh, I ask them if they can... Um, if, if those people were to somehow not be hung up like that anymore, would that be a problem with you? Uh... The messenger you're speaking with says, The great and powerful swine shogun has uh, decided their fate. If you wish to alter it, you can speak with him during your meeting. Okay. okay. All praise be to the swine shogun, most honorable and vivacious war ruler. What the heck? Okay. Uh, okay, so we're about to go on a sweet-ass guided tour okay. of all of the things. I will be right back, yo. Okay, so <clears throat> you enter the Hobgoblin Fort. It is a broad stone floored courtyard that lies on the other side of the wall. The parapet runs with arrow slits both along the wall and through it, connected by a wooden bridge that crosses above the door. To the east, there is a series of murder holes, which are guarded by Oni at the ready. Grotesque carvings of sex, gluttony, violence, and oppression decorate the walls of this chamber, seeming to leap from the walls. The broken bodies of half a dozen humans, their flesh seared, hang among this vile imagery. Further you said to Oni the... at the ready, like actual Oni at the ready. No, I'm sorry, not Oni hobgoblins. Okay, hobgoblins are, <laughs> are, right. are back there. I was about to say. <clears throat> My bad. To the east, four more hobgoblins defend the area where vile carvings and figures decorate the long corridor, this time depicting acts of envy and, and aggression and gathering. To the east, a stone stairs climb a balcony lined with pillars. At the top of the balcony, there are two hill giants who escort you into the next chamber. <clears throat> the hill giants leave you in what they term as the hallway of endless agony, where you find broken <laughs> bodies, some of which seem to have died while being tormented, that line the walls of this long arch corridor amid carvings and figures of torture and anguish. As you pass through the chamber, uh, Yerl, from the corner of your eye, you see what looks to be a Star Wars-style blue force ghost of a monk with the symbol of Irori, on their on their plain brown clothing, they have like the blue fist of Irori on the front part of it. Uh, she like peeks her head out of the wall and sees you, and then like slides back into the wall. Um, I will attempt to speak to her. Okay. Do you, I mean? Do you stop there? So what's happening is you're being escorted by like an honor guard of two hobgoblins, and like right. in each room, the hobgoblins defending the area like stand at attention and wait for you to pass through. Hmm. Um. Dang. I'll I'll ask the hobgoblins if we can pause for a moment. Uh, so the messenger hobgoblin looks to the other one and says, This is most irregular. What is the purpose for stopping? 
And the other one, like, looks around this corridor where bodies are hanging from the walls and says, Sir, I don't particularly like this chamber. You know, weird things tend to happen here. And the first hobgoblin is like, You're speaking out of turn, private! Shut your mouth. Um, I'm trying to think. I've got to look at languages real quick because I'm not sure. I don't have a big selection. Are they, they're speaking goblin right now, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I asked them if they know common. Uh, oh, well, yeah, they are, do. I because... mean, are you asking in common if they know common? Yeah. Because no. I was yeah. speaking in common. Did they understand? Yes, yeah. they when do I understand asked. common, but they speak to each other in goblin. Okay. <clears throat> so I, I can okay. understand the whole conversation, and they can. Well, I will ask the ghost in Celestial. Um, faithful of Aurori, can you understand me? Uh, yeah, so the ghost pops her head out again, and both the hobgoblins immediately begin brandishing weapons towards it. I'll ask them to, to hold their attacks. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay. Um, yeah, the... The one that was called Private, like, looks at the messenger hobgoblin, and it just kind of shrugs. And they hold their weapons out threateningly, but don't make a move to get any okay. further. I'll speak to the ghost. Do you understand me? Uh, the ghost just starts moving towards you and puts her hand out. Okay, I'll hold still. Okay. Uh, the ghost is attempting to merge with your soul. Oh, hey, wait. You can either let it or try to resist this. It it's definitely wearing. I mean, I recognize the these, this clothing, is yes. Roran garb. Yep. Okay. Wow. Boy, this is yeah. You're gonna sure. Get a cute fire starter like Adam did. <sighs> yeah, I'll let it. What the heck? Okay. Uh, you are good aligned, correct? Yes. Okay, that's why it's attracted to you. Uh, you have gained the Still Mind Monk class ability. You now have a plus two saving throw against enchantment spells and effects. Uh, you are driven with uh, a single purpose. As If you remember earlier, there's like a room inside your mind that is like a picture in picture. So you like see everything that you would normally see, but you also, in your mind's imagination, can now see this room that is filled with this spirit here. What does your, like, spirit room look like? So it's like a place you would go to talk to people that are spirits. Um, and it's yours. Yeah, I mean, a, a cozy, uh, cozy halfling, cozy halfling hearth, you know? Nice, uh, comfortable uh, tunnel with uh, stucco walls and wood framing and rich hand-rubbed furniture. So uh, the monk is slightly too tall to be comfortable in here because she's a full-sized human. Uh, she turns towards you and says, Thank you for answering my call, noble paladin monk. My name is Kusatsu Yuka. You have ended my unending misery. You'll have to put that in chat. <laughs> okay. And what is it that you seek? I seek vengeance. The can I do this of... while we? Can I do this while we walk with the hobgoblins? Yes. Goblins? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, it's I'll, just I'll like help. you're imagining something in your mind. So yeah, you're you're literally just walking. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. Like you couldn't fight and talk to this creature at the same time. But if all you're doing is walking, yes. Sure. Uh, she says, I am seeking vengeance against my killer, Muna Sukaru. She is the leader of this location. A horrible and dangerous creature who tortured me mercilessly for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years? Okay. Yes, she has ways of extending torment long beyond what a human body or a mortal body of any kind should ever, ever exist in. You saying okay. Goblin looks like we took care of this? Okay, so, yeah, while Yarrow's having this conversation, we cut back to, like, picture in picture. The outside, 
the Goblin Herald goes, You say you took care of this, but it seems like this was probably a bad thing. Again, not to insult the great and honored visitors from afar, but I'm pretty sure I just saw the ghost that's been tormenting us for a decade enter that man's body. Are you sure he's okay? We can go um, get one of our demonologists and nope, drive the spirit am, out. Yeah, I, I am pass a on, I pass on paladin of Aurori, and that was an Auroriite, and I am a hunter of undead. I will deal with the spirit. I will pass that dead along in Goblin. Uh, that's right, well, they, they speak common, so they understand what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, they look at each other and they're like, Paladin? Uh oh. But they we have continue. no issues. Yeah. Um, the spirit of Kusatsu says, uh, noble, noble paladin, might I ask that you kill Muna Sukaru? As long as we remain together, I can continue to grant you the power of the mind of the monk, protecting you from enchantment. I will, uh, I will do everything that I can to comply. Very well. I don't suppose you could imagine some halfling leaf. While I was still alive... In a taller roof. <laughs> <laughs> while I was no, still alive, I could not partake of such things. But now that I am not alive, I suppose... I am absolutely certain that there's some in this room. <laughs> so, so she okay. says... Yes, I suppose I'm not actually smoking the leaf since you're just imagining it. So it's not really a betrayal, is it? Something to ponder yeah. while I'm smoking the leaf. That is gonna, a question to an answer for yourself. going to attempt some uh, diplomacy to ease their minds okay. in Goblin about this whole situation. And just be like, hey, bros, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. We're professionals. Uh, we, 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 will, we will honor your... Um, your peace treaty as well as you honor yours. Okay. Uh, they take you to the ledge from which you can see a and waterfall. throw us off of it. Sorry. That <laughs> provides a series of fresh water pools. Uh, there's a number of rope ladders that they take you down through. Continuing across the Great Cavern, where you find a number of hovels constructed from debris that clutter around the floor, it's clear that the hobgoblins live within these hovels. Okay. Uh, crossing the bridge, you eventually make it to a fortress, <clears throat> a keep, uh, a stone fortress that just sits in the center of the corridor. It is uh, three stories high, and this white dotted area is, is like a, a stone walkway on the third story that crosses over to a cave exit that is 30 feet above the ground. So this is just a massive, massive cavern. Yep. All right. The stone keep sits on an outcrop of rock in the belly of the huge cavern. Several of its walls have seen better days. The structure sags in some places, and heaps of rubble line the keep's flanks. From the building's roof, which almost touches the ceiling of the cavern, a stone bridge arches to a precarious rocky outcropping. Inside, two more hill giants, a dire boar, and three snow leopards sit around a fire. Snow leopards? Yep. From there, you are led up the staircase to the second floor, where you finally meet the swine shogun, Uto Futotsu. A gentleman who looks somewhat like this. <laughs> I like the pig. <clears throat> the floor yeah. of this chamber runs with filth and refuse and swims with scores of cockroaches and rats, as well as a dozen pigs. A huge table rises crookedly from the waist, holding the putrid remains of a huge feast on a tarnished silver platter, including a half-devoured pig's head with a hand thrust through its mouth. Numerous war trophies hang from the walls, while countless rusted weapons dingle from hooks. The stone stairs continue to stagger, stagger upwards to the next floor. <clears throat> and so, as you enter, the swine shogun, Buto Futotsu, is announced by his messenger god. Yes, I know we're about to wrap up here. Uh, the swine shogun 
uh, pulls out his enormous sword and gestures around to uh, all of the area. And, and you realize it's not really a sword, it's actually just a gigantic knife that he uses to, like, slice some pig and says, Oh, great and honorable travelers, I am Buto Futotsu, swine shogun. I am the leader of the Withered Blossom Warriors of this level. Ha 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 ha. Tell me, do you like my great war axe? My cape made of a dozen pigs? Am I not grand and glorious? Oh, yes. Uh, we, we, we bathe in your uh, glory. Actually, Excellent. You have to lie. He is uh, pretty amazing. Tell me more good things. Yes, this uh, fortress is, is, is very impressive. I, uh, mm. I especially enjoy the, the various uh, things that um, are, are clearly meant, meant to uh, just all hit rocks. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, it, 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 all, all the uh, amazing uh, defenses that you have built, and uh, you have your um, you have your warriors in in very good very, very under your thumb. I appreciate your uh, your leadership. Oh yes, yes leadership. And he snaps his fingers, and four female hobgoblins come from the top level and assemble themselves around him to hang off of his body. He says, "Yes." Leadership has its perks. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be the show. Yeah. Yes. So, you yeah. wish to come here to speak about the Divine Protector Goddess. Divine Protector Goddess. Um, yeah. I'm not exactly sure who that is. We've heard brief mention. <clears throat> My man said what you described at the gate matches our divine protector goddess. Always watch her, constant sentinel, and bringer of justice and greatness. Hmm. I am her most loyal and favorite servant. Um, out of character, we're actually supposed to release the Oni, right? No, right? I don't think we're They said to destroy the tower, release the Oni, so that the Kami will be free, right? No, this is supposed to be a prison for all the Oni. Yeah, we yeah but it's all also the Oni... prisoning the, the Kami, and the Kami wanted to be free of this because most of the Oni are out already, and they said destroy it so that the Kami would be free of their guardianship. Is that not correct, Arthur? That's true. So oh. we're supposed to release these. so that They're, They want information as to why the Oni are free, and yet they still can't come in here. And so if there's Oni inside and you kill them, it should theoretically release them from the Golden Law okay. of Perfection. Okay. But in technical terms, we're supposed to release the Oni from the tower to destroy the bond to release the Kami. Mm. Okay. And if we, we do all... that by killing them, just so much the better for the Kami, but that's... We also know that once all of the Oni are out of the tower, its purpose will cease to exist and will start to dematerialize in some, some way, shape, or form. Or at least that's what we suspect. Right. Correct. Right. That is what we've been led to believe, yes. Anyway. Um, okay. Well, our mission here is actually to find out what has happened because many of the Oni that were supposed to be here have been released and no one is certain why. And are you are you saying that to Buto yeah. Futotsu? Yes. So he says, I do not understand what you mean. I do not know what this Oni is. Um, powerful spirits? Mm, there are many powerful spirits here. Yeah. But the most powerful is, of course, the divine justice century goddess. Sounds legit. Yeah. Okay. Um, is this goddess free of this place or is she trapped here or or I hate oh to say no of course she is not trapped here that is ridiculous is she, she bound here does she leave no 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 she stays with us because we are her great and honorable protectors and worshipers mm. why would she ever want to go anywhere no only another god could trap her and she can kill all of the other gods well okay i'll take your word for it then that sounds awesome Right. So, yeah, I feel like that's a good line to end on, because next time he's going to want to know your names so you can honorably introduce yourselves to him. And we can figure out what's going on. Because who knows what Buto Futotsu, 
the swine shogun really has going on here. Uh, I thought this was a good episode to come back on. Yeah, it was. And, uh, yeah, it was. We had a little bit of a yeah. little bit of a lag in the middle there, but uh, overall, very enjoyable. Lots of fun. Yeah, yeah, very fun. All right, cool. Well, is everyone good for next week? I know holidays are going to start messing things up here. I think I could play next week. Yep, I think so. I see no reason why not. All right, cool. I won't we'll be, be out of town on any Tuesdays. Be back next week for episode 31. Thank you for watching episode 30, The Morph, The Merrier. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs>